Okay, guys, coming back here. Wow, only four students, that's incredible. What happened to the rest? Where are they? Remember guys, remember students to have your camera on because here on my screen, yes, I have one line with all images of you and Barbara Odette has like a comet or something. Diego has the moon, yes, and Christopher Roland only the name. Thank you. Yeah, it's because right here, right here, well, it's right here on my screen on one side. The last time, eh, Miss Arely told me, you know what? I need to have the images of the students there. I didn't have the images. Yes, what I did, uh, I only close out this uh, images and then I had like the complete screen for me. Actually, uh, no, I have this part with your uh, image here that I can see, for example, Peter. Peter is writing. Yes, I can see uh, Diego. Diego is paying attention to, yes. Except I have some exceptions. Yes, some students who Some students who have already told me, yes, that uh, you don't have your camera for whatever the reason is, well, you are accepted. Otherwise, no students. Yes, please, your camera son. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Okay, I'm going to call the list. Meanwhile, you are getting in class. Okay, here I have. The Wizak is here. Kevin? Kevin is here? Yes. Barbara is here. Javier Sebastián. No, Javier Sebastián. Robert. No, Robert. Espinosa Triay. Yes. Present. Tamara yes. Renata. Yes. Dennis. Well, it was in the previous session. Right now is coming in. Brittany, Peter is Please. here, Danny Alexa. Oh, Danny Alexa, thank you. Thank you. Ah, oh, Danny Alexa is coming in. as well as Denise Mosquera. Letia Meyali. Present. Yes, is here. Eh, Fernando Daniel Chavero. No. Rodrigo. No. Max. Maximiliano. No. Okay, 
Reina. No, Reina. Eder Vladimir. Eder. No, Eder. Sorry. Eh, Fabián. Present. Yes. Sebastián Montes. Yes. Christopher Abraham. Yes. Ingrid Arlet. Yes. Present. Yes. Ángel Venegas. No. Ángel Guadalupe. Camila. Sí. No, Adriana Camila. Gracias. Ok. Santiago. No. Santiago. Yo creo que sí. Ok. Thank you guys for your attendance. So we are going to have the first exercise of listening today. Yes. Let's give me a moment. That is recording. Excellent. <clears throat> and, and check. We as a group. Okay. We were not the only group having problems in Zoom. Here I'm listening to some teachers also having problems with. Okay, so let's prepare for this small exam. For each question, choose the correct answer. Talking to her friend Ed about the new Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. Sorry. Okay, question number one. What does Serena like best about the new sports center? She can take fitness class, she can take racket sport, or she can go climbing. Two, the sport center class, center classes. Ay, Dani Chavero. At the same time, every day, later on Saturday and Sunday, earlier in the holidays. Three, Serena thinks Ed would like climbing because he already knows the teacher, he doesn't like team sports, and he's got a strong body. Four, Ed likes board games because they make him think he doesn't have to move around. He can't play them at school. Five, Ed can contact the, the, the games club by text, by letter, or by email. Okay? This is what you have to do every day. Well, not every day, every time, sorry. This is what you have to do every time. You have an exam of listening. Read before the questions and the probable answers. So when start listening, Yes, you don't have the problems of, come on, what's going on? Ah, I'm the number one. No, we're in the number two. No, you have the organization and you have the order when listening. Okay, so two times, remember the listening is two times. So let's start. Number one. Ninety-seven. You will hear Serena... talking to her friend Ed about the new sports centre. Serena, what's the new sports centre like? It's amazing, Ed. There's a fantastic climbing wall, a hall for fitness classes, and you can do sports like badminton and tennis there. That's the best thing about it for me. Do you know what the opening hours are? At the moment, it's open from 7.30 in the morning to 10 o'clock at night, Mondays to Fridays. At weekends and school holidays, it's 8 till 10. Okay, I might go and try something. Try the climbing wall. It's great for people like you who don't like team sports. I know the teacher and she's great. It might be hard at the beginning because you're not very strong. 
But it will be fun. Okay. There's also a board games club at the sports centre. That's interesting. Board games might not help you get fit, but they are good exercise for your brain. People forget how important that is. In fact, we should play them at school. <laughs> I saw a notice about it with some contact details. I didn't see a phone number, but there was an email address. Thanks, Serena. Okay. Second time. Ready for the second time so you recheck your information and answers. Track 97. You will hear Serena talking to her friend Ed about the new sports center. Serena, what's the new sports center like? It's amazing, Ed. There's a fantastic climbing wall, a hall for fitness classes, and you can do sports like badminton and tennis there. That's the best thing about it for me. Do you know what the opening hours are? At the moment, it's open from 7.30 in the morning to 10 o'clock at night, Mondays to Fridays. At weekends and school holidays, it's 8 till 10. Okay, I might go and try something. Try the climbing wall. It's great for people like you who don't like team sports. I know the teacher and she's great. It might be hard at the beginning because you're not very strong, but it will be fun. Okay. There's also a board games club at the sports centre. That's interesting. Board games might not help you get fit, but they are good exercise for your brain. People forget how important that is. In fact, we should play them at school. <laughs> I saw a notice about it with some contact details. I didn't see a phone number, but there was an email address. Thanks, Serena. Okay, Fabian, number one, what does Serena like best about the new sports center? Hey. 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 Ah, qué rico. Qué rico. Gracias. No, let her be. Okay. Racket, she can play, sorry, racket sports. Number two, Barbara Odette, the sports center classes. A. At the same time, every day. Great answer. Three, Peter Perez. Serena thinks it will like climbing because. Yeah, then, me. He doesn't like team sports. Yeah, I love exactly. <clears throat> exactly. Brittany Odette. It likes board games because. No. <laughs> Let her see. Okay. Sorry for this. 
Okay. And the last one. The last one. Yes, for Letty Amejali. Ed, can contact the games club? Can you repeat? Letter C. Letter C. By mail. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so listening exam. How do you do in the exam? Really well? Yes? I hope so. Okay. All right, so we finish this review. Yes, unit units nine to twelve, and then we are beginning the new unit number thirteen. Yes, thirteen. Actually, we are a little bit behind our uh, plan, but this is because we have had some lessons which require more of your attention okay more of your attention okay number one that i want you to identify in this these two words out door And indoor. Yes, outdoor and indoor. When I say outdoor and indoor, is because some activities, some activities are done, yes, outdoor, and others are indoor. Okay, so think about the sports and different activities you like doing. Some activities you can do them out. For example, play soccer. To play soccer is outside, outdoor activity. Yes? Tell me another activity that is outdoor. Dani Chavero. Oh, Dani Chavero, I'm going to get you out of the class. ¿Me escuchan? Yes, thank you. ¿Me escuchan? Mm -hmm. Ah, the swimming. Swimming. Oh, the, yeah, on the American mm -hmm. soccer. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Christopher Roldan, tell me another activity that is outdoor. No? Okay, Vale Rojas, another activity outdoors. Uh, can be American football or cycle. Excellent. Play football. That is called biking. Yes, excellent. Sebastián Montes, another activity outdoor. Uh, play uh, swim. Swimming is in the there. beach or in pool. Swimming. Swimming is right there. Uh. Okay. Watch the TV. Ah, no, perdón. No, no, no. <laughs> okay, keep Outdoor. it. In. What about baseball? Play volleyball. Volleyball, exactly. Volleyball. Yes. Baseball. Etc. Okay. Now. Now. Thank you.
Sorry. Let me see, let me see. I have here. Okay. Uh, Kevin, one activity. Tell me one activity that is indoor. Mm, chess or? Chess, exactly. Yes, chess. Chess, uh -huh. um, Diego. What did you? Uh, one activity that is indoor. Mm, ¿Cómo decía el turista? Tourist. Monopoly? Oh, mundial tourist. Monopoly? Yes, this, that these two. Monopoly. Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, Sebas, no, wait, wait, wait. Peter, tell me one activity that is indoor. Okay, Coronado, tell me. Can you repeat? Domino. Domino, yes. Domino, uh huh. Give me a moment. Okay, I have three chats. Let me see. Puzzle. Yes, that is another one. Puzzle. Uh huh. So, have another chat. Teacher. Ah, okay. Volleyball. Volleyball. Yes, tell me, tell me. Volleyball, what? Um, volleyball can be. In indoors. Indoor. Exactly. Good observation, girl. Good observation. Give me just a moment. Um, mm -hmm. The same with this. The same with what? Swimming. Exactly. Some activities can have both forms. Indoor activity, yes, because swimming, for example, when, when you practice swimming can be outside in a, let's call it for instance, public swimming pool, or when you practice, when you practice uh, professionally, yes, that is indoors. Volleyball, yes, for example, when you go to the beach, you play Volleyball, that is a beach play, beach volleyball. And professionally, they play in a court. So yeah, some activities can have both, good observation. So today, this is what we need to check. Yes, these activities here, the grade, open up your book in page 77. Seventy six, sorry, seventy six and seventy seven. Okay, what activities can you see in the A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and I? What activities can you see here, students? Well, camping. Camping, exactly. What else? Oh. 
Oh, oh, se trabó otra vez. No. Sorry otra vez, chicos. Algo pasó, algo está pasando con Zoom, que, que nos está sacando continuamente. Sí, pero bueno, lo bueno que regresa rapidísimo. No se tarda nada. Ok, so, what are the, for example, what is the sport A? What is the sport A? That is swimming? No, that is kayaking, exactly. Letter B? Climbing. Climbing. Let her see. Camping. Camping, exactly. D. Mm, snowboard. Yes, snowman, no snowball. Mm, eh, doing a snowman. Yes, letter E. No, Mr. Come on, Peter. No, 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 no. Is what? That is? Like investigating in a cave, yes? Maybe. Letter F. Searching fossils. Searching for fossils can be? Letter G. A beer. A beer, but, but yes, but not there. When, when you check these steps, marks, yes, it's because you are what? You are following track. You yes, track or following an animal. Yes. Letter H. Can be number two. Can be number two. What what are you doing, Mr. Peter? Right. Right. Rock climbing. Rock climbing, letter I. Biology. No. Pico. Like collecting fruit. Collecting. Collecting fruit, yes. Collecting berries. Grapes, fruits, whatever. Berries. Berries, yes. Uh, these ones are blueberries. And letter. It's like fire. J. Recording bird sounds. Okay. Ah, like recording birds. Yes, recording birds. Okay, so these are outdoor activities. And according to the book, the recommendation is you have to do these things before you are 16. So in this moment, my group is around 11, 12, maybe 13 years old, but you are not 16. Any one of my, of, of my group uh, isn't 16 years old. So these are some activities that you have to do before you turn 16, all right? So let me read the introduction of this unit that is number 13, life experiences. Have you ever climbed a tree or kajaked down a river? No, you haven't? Well, now it's time to do it. Start with these 10 activities. Download the application and tick the activities off as you do them. 
You can do them in any other and at any time. When you have finished this 10, click on another section, animals, people, or sports, and download 10 more. Compare your activities with your friends. All right, so the recommendation is do these activities, do these activities before you turn 16 years old because they are poof, exciting, great, fantastic, wonderful activities. Yes, kayaking, climbing a tree, investigating in caves. All right, all of these activities are really good. And these activities are uh, in the in the past experiences, experiences that you did. All right. Well, let's now match. Let's match in these images with the correct activities name. All right. So the exercise number one right there under the text, you have the activities. Let's match these activities with the correct name. Okay, so according to this, what is the letter A? Climb a tree. Climb, no climb. Climb a tree. No, letter A? Letter A is climb a tree. Uh -uh. <laughs> Oh, no. kayak down a kayak down a river excellent so debajo de esa picture right kayak down a river o ahí pongan en las letras letter a letter b climb a tree climb a tree yes Letter C. Under the stars. Okay, let me see. Camp under the stars. Okay, something here I am going to stop. Check this question. Check my question. Wait, wait, wait. A little bit bigger. Have you ever gone? Or oh, have you ever, no, yes, have you ever done? Okay. My question for, for, let me see. For Vale Rojas, have you ever done kayak down a river? What is your answer, Vale? No, teacher. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Excellent. <laughs> Leti Amiyali. Have you ever climbed a tree? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Maximiliano, have you ever camped? Oh, yeah. um, have you ever camped? Under the stars, Max, have you ever camped mm. under the stars? Es que no, no escucho bien, teacher. Okay, 
Tamara Renata, have you ever camped under the stars? No. No, I haven't. This question is really important. Yes, because we are going to check in this unit your past experiences. Okay, okay, so let's continue with these activities. Letter D, what is activity letter D? Play in the snow. Play with the snow. In the snow. Play in the snow, exactly. Letter E. Explore a cave. Explore a cave. Explore a cave. Explore a cave. Letter F. Look for fossils. No, yes, Fabian. Record a bird song. Record a bird song. G. What's letter G? Big white fruit. Big white fruit. Wild fruit. H. Um, try rock climbing. Try rock climbing. Letter I. Track wild animals. Track wild animals. Yes, and the last one, Jay. Look for fossils. Look for fossils. Yes, excellent, excellent. So I'm going to be asking you really fast, okay, Diego? To check if you really copy all the answers. Wow. Yes, to check if you really copy all the answers. Yeah. Okay, please. Okay, Okay, letter A. What's the letter A? ¿Cómo se decía nadar? No se puede remar. All right, come on. Right there is the answer, Mr. Diego. Wow. Well, es que no estoy en la reunión, dicho. Creo que es un kayak. Kayak down a river. A kayak in the river. Yes, letter B. Ahí está en la pantalla. Climb a tree. Sí. Climb a tree. Letter C. Come under the stars. Yes. Letter D. Play in the snow. E. Explore a, a cave. F. Record bird song. Okay. See you tomorrow, guys. Our class has finished. Yes. Have an excellent e. day, class. Yeah. Bye bye, students.